Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're playing some Zero Rare Magic today on MTG Arena. Um, this deck was requested. I did a list of all my new Zero Rare brews and this was definitely one of the most popular one, which is Caves. So with the new Ixalan uh, put into standard now, we have some Caves. Very much like if you've been playing Magic for a while, there's a Gates deck that used to be around and is still around in different formats. People playing Commander and stuff like that because they can't play it in standard now. But this works on the premise of that as well. So we fill our deck with lots of Cave cards. Um, all uncommon and common cards in this. There's literally no rares in this deck whatsoever. Um, we got the Hidden Courtyard. All these come from the new set. Um, all the different colours. A couple of basics as well. And there's some really good ones like uh, Forgotten Monument that can give all our caves one, um, tap for one life and, and one mana of any colour. We have a card in Moor, Cavernous Moor, that can become a creature and start attacking or defending if we need. And then there's the cave that can be sacked and put counters on at sorcery speed as well. So all of these caves as well have Discover 4, um, all of the colored caves, so you can discover extra cards from the top of your library until you get that 4, mana or less. And then you may cast it without the paint's mana cost or put it into your hand. So put the rest in your bottom. Very nice. So what do we have in here? The payoffs in this deck. So we have Gargantuan Leech, potentially can cost one mana, come down 5-5 five, five, Lifelinker. We have a big Colossal Sky, uh, sky Turtle, I was going to say Sky Skirtle. Um, this has Channel, useful Channel as well, getting back a creature card from us, Recursion. Or we have Channel where we can discard it and return target creatures to his owner's hand, ask all opponents, whatever we need to do. Surveyor can help go get the type of land that we want. 3-2, nice stats, 4 mana, go and search for that land card as well. Now what the deck has is really two good enchantments in here. We have Spelunkin um, and we also have Bat Colony. With the combination of Kami in that deck, we can play our Spelunkin, our Bat Colonies. Is will enter the battle, return target enchantment back to our owner's hand. We gain 3 life if we do. So then we just replay the Spelunkins and the Rat Colonies and make loads more bats and everything like that. And whenever a uh, uh, Cave comes into play, we get a 1-1 counter on a creature as well. So these for draws cards, potentially gain life, and makes all of our land. If we can get this turn three, it makes all of these tapped lands come in untapped, which is brilliant and perfect for a budget deck. We also have some removal. Cave in is very like thematic for this deck. Can you know just wipe the floor with a lot of a lot of board states? It could be massive by the number of caves that we have in uh, have into play. And then we have Terra Sunder as a single of in there. Some go for the throat, a bit more removal, and bitter triumph because we can gain a lot of life in this deck potentially. So if we don't want to discard a card, um, we don't mind discarding if it's a land card potentially because we've got Glimpse the Core. We can get back Carve back from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped as well. So Synergy personified in this deck. It's a real good, fun cave deck. And as you'll see from the gameplay, we can take down some really good decks. We play Mono Black, we play a few different decks like that as well. So strong, powerful decks. And you'll get to see this zero rare deck in action. So just before we go to the gameplay, uh, any of my decks, you want to get them in paper, check out my sponsors, Card Market, down below, link there to go and buy a card in paper. Uh, thank you to everyone that comments and leaves me you know, comments about decks they want to see or anything like that, or just saying hello, where part of the world you're watching. I love that as well. And subscribing really, really does help. We're pushing towards 16,000 now. You want to go that bit extra further, support my Patreon. Much love if you do. But anyway, enjoy the gameplay. Right, here we go, caves. Let's go. There's lots of caves there. There's a bit of removal. Like it. Um, let's go. Merrifolk. Captivating cave. Double Cavern of Souls, eh? It's the reason why when I'm playing Counter Magic now, I have to run three or four Field of the Ruins now just for that. Um, this comes in like that, so I can go back Colony, Autope. Make some bats. Let's get some little bat bats. Okay. Um, no blocks. We know there's a make disappear over there, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, one one counter over here. 
Uh, we could go for the Gargantuan, but mm, we're going to go in for four. Opponent's going to do now. Okay. D don't really want to get that out of hand. Oh, nice. Um... Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I think we will go discard, get rid of the hex, summit one, auto pay, uh, removal, or one of these. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. And hope they haven't got protection. Do they have protection? Hopefully not. No, sweet. Okay, shrink those back down a bit. That's what we like. So the idea is that hopefully if we can bounce our back colony and get you know some more action going with that. Opponent has an Ottawara. Oh, nice, okay. Take action. Um, get one of these. Which is not too bad. Play the land. Still has that make disappear though. Um, which, have I got the creature one out yet? I've got the creature one. Let's go. Oh, let's put on the pressure. Down to nine. We could return target creature. We could try and get that out of hand. No, let's leave it as we are. Oh, okay. Create a map token. Uh, do we want to bounce that one back? Uh, we'll try and do it at the end. Because I assume my opponent's going to do that. We do have two of these in hand, though, so... Yo, Connor, how you doing, mate? Good to see you here, buddy. Let's bounce that. Lovely. They go for the throat. Let's activate again. GG's! Oh, zero caves. Attacking with the caves. That's what we want. That's what we want. Oh, uh, well, we got green, which is good for spelunking. Turn three spelunking is always good. Toxic! Another spelunking. Okay. I think turn two. Let's go in with the volcano. Could do with some more lands. Spriminogi Polyph. Yeah, this is a deck I think Gamer Penguin in the chat was talking about. No one likes to play against this deck. Okay. Oh. Well, that's just terrible. Because if I had led with that one, I could have just bounced this one while they were tapped out, which would have been nice. Another chrome. I mean, that is lovely if we get to pull it off. We're on 19 life again, though. I just... I'm a bit wary now. Five. You know they've got counter magic in hand. Um, yeah, look. Held up. Probably just make disappear. I mean, we'll try and do something. Let's 
Let's try and get the counter magic out here if we can. Oh, they didn't fall for it. We really need the cave in to come and do some work. Can we do it? Do we try? Let's return to Spelunkin if we can. We know they've got some kind of counter magic because it just keeps stopping there. And there it is. Okay. Just need him not to have it for that one turn. There's the chrome. We really need the calamity cave in. Yes, come on. Need to get that toxic off the board as well. Jesus. Up to seven. Lovely. We keep the cave back. Eight life. Void wing, of course. We can get our back colony in, hopefully. Can we can we get it in? Are oh, they just gonna attack with that? Lovely. Turns into a three three. Yeah, did they realise? No, they didn't realise. That's what we like when opponent doesn't read the cards. I was thinking they might have removal there. We got cut. No way of casting the back colony. No, which is really going to hurt us. Um, we go. Gargantuan. Cammy returning Spelunkin. Get three life. Play the Spelunkin. Oh, we get a cave though. But this has Toxic. Oh. Gonna draw a card, that's fine. Oh, God, they found another flyer. I mean, that... Oh, lovely. Okay. It's going for nine. Get some life back. Get some flyers. I think we kill one of these now. We're not going to be raffing. So let's get rid of that and turn. Okay. Yo, Baz, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream, mate. Good to see you here, bud. Okay. Oh, that hurts the proliferate. Gets that back to hand. Plays the void wing. Kills one. Still have two blockers though. Ugh, that's not what we want. Um five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which means they would have to block, but they If they top draw removal. If I do this for two. Oh, 
Well, do I do that? Hmm. Let's do that. Going for eight. They only need one bit of removal, but these can't block that. I'm going to sack one of these. I mean, it kills them there, but I can then attack for three next turn. With my land. No, it kills my land as well. Oh, dear. I'm dead to any removal. I'm dead to any proliferate. Or I win on board. Let's just put in hand in. Any proliferate. Nope. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We can attack with a land for the wind. Oh, they do have a bit of lifelink there. Oh. I think I can actually just clear the board, actually. I can clear the board and then just attack there, can't I? Can I do that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, clear the board. Uh, one. And then attack with this. Do there. Make my cavernous more. Yeah, it wouldn't let me attack either. Come on. We took down one of the hardest decks to beat with a zero rare deck because they can beat us with 10, 10 poison counters. Oh, yes. Um, it's not very good, but we keep it. Um, hey, I saw the display video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Oh, Dino's, eh? What is it? Okay. Can't get our bat down though, that's annoying. We need four mana for that. We got the scampering surveyor, this is like sad robot. Okay. Yeah, there's another one. Uh we can't play anything, so let's just get that in. Then next turn we should be able to play the bat. Or we could go scampering. We had a bit of a slow start here. We really wanted that turn three to start the start the power swinging, shall we say? Dinos is a very good deck. They're a powerful deck, especially if they go like one into two into threes straight away. Opponents had a very good aggressive start. Uh, that's pretty good. Three damage does clear the field, so I think we do it. Nice. Yeah, very fun as well. It's good to have something different, eh? That was a good wrath, though. Our cave-in does some work for us. It's, this deck works very well, like, if you know the... Um, um, what's it called? The gate deck. There was a gate deck before. Yeah, wreck them dinos. Let's make our bats. We have got double bat coming. Uh, well, that yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to go... Return that. Attack in. Just slow opponent down. I really would have liked to play another bat. Maybe I could have played the bat and then gone in for two attacks. I mean, that's okay. Here is a, another one. So we get a 1-1 one, one counter there. Um, let's go in with the bat again. Um, is it worth it to get through for two? Probably not.
Because we lose our two drop. I'd rather bounce this and then go again. It's going to be tricky there. Of course they had to find their flyer. A little bit annoying. Could have just played a belligerent yearling and a on the ground so we could have just kept attacking in of course uh, belligerent okay I mean we have to block the bone horde if it attacks probably the best thing to do if not we we bounce it because they can double power and toughness here it doesn't have trample does it no Yep. Bam, 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 bam. Right, two. We could really do with oh, five damage, eh? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Okay. Um, uh, put it on to battle. Tapped. We don't really want that. That's annoying. It's going for four. Um, what's this to? At the beginning of your upkeep, exile to guys you made clip no, so we're gonna get rid of that. Um Um Scamp to bitter triumph the bone or Dracosaur. Um I've not picked any singles up yet. I mean, you can do that, but what does it do? Nothing. I'll oh, create a token, does it? Uh, okay. You can get rid of that. Yeah, I've not really picked up any singles yet. I've got some that I'm interested in. I was thinking about collecting all the... Um, um, Jurassic Park cars, but there's some are just so expensive. Like not even the rare, like the rare foily different versions, just the normal versions. Even the normal versions of the cars are pretty beefy in price. So aggressive the Dino deck, and especially when you're playing like a budget deck. Coming in for five. That's going to be sacked. Coming in for eight. Um, Favourite card from the new set. Hmm. What would be my favourite card? <laughs> I can't say island. <laughs> um, I'll have to have a little thing. Give me a sec. I'll think about that. Um, um, yep. Yeah. Oh, and double power. Oh, my God. Well, it's not this card. <laughs> That's for sure. Down to one. Um, yeah, pretty much dead. Although we do have a lifelinker. Um, it has trample, though. No attacks. End turn. Um... I'll let you know my favourite card. One sec. Hulking Raptor. It's not that one. Yo, Carl. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you here. We're just getting stomped by the dinos. The dinos are definitely giving us a bit of a slack in here. Dinos are very good. Palani's Hatcher. This is going to do this. Uh, we can get five life back. That's got trample, so no point doing that. Haste War 2, Zoo. Fast. Go like that. I suppose actually we should have. Yeah, maybe I should. I should have. Yeah, I should have maybe double blocked that one and, and let the three through. Because um, I completely forgot about the double power. GG's. They've got the mana, haven't they? Yeah. Has the opponent not worked it out? Um, uh, yeah. Favourite card from the new set. Without a doubt, Blood Letter of Alcazots. 
Love it. Calendar is very good, but I love the Blood Lair of Alcazot. Uh, the one that just absolutely drains opponent. I think that's such a cool card. Um, wow, why didn't they just do it on there? What? So opponent could have won there. Um, but didn't. Which is hilarious. A uh, bit of a misplay from opponent there. Makes no difference whatsoever, though. Uh, I mean, this is the cool thing we do if we can. We we can do this. We're not going to be able to replay it, though. Uh, so we send this back to hand. We gain three life, and then uh, the idea of the deck is then to play it again and get three more and just keep a mass in that way, um, which is really cool. But, yeah, we lose this one. Uh, two lands. We're going to have to mulligan that one. Three lands, keep, and ditch. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Yo! Come on back to the airstream after I make the best margarita this side of the R.I.O. Grande. Thank you, Jay, for the sub. Let's get some Doritos in the chat. Thank you very much, my friend. Nice. Three subs today. Much appreciated, everyone. Oh, glimpse of core. I should have done that first. I should have done that. Um, let's go Splunkin. 10 months, mate. Nice. Well, we're ramping out. Thanks to the Splunk. What have we got here? Human Druid. Monogreen Ramp, eh? Okay. It's the way you want to go. Um... Nice, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely fair, Connor. <laughs> I don't destroy my Spelunkin. Oh, M. Hage is just... That's just not fun. Um, when you pay the cost more. That can't block, can it? I could just clear the field here with four. Seems decent. And then I attack him for my five. That seems good. Top of Rary. Not worried about that one yet. Okay. Um, hidden. Uh, could put counters on, couldn't I? Or sacrifice it, put counters on. Becomes seven. That is a big clock, then. That is a big clock. Do I want to sacrifice, though? No, I think I'll just get my 3 2 in for now. Um. Get my forgotten monument in. Yeah, that's the way to go. Paying for life to add colour seems decent because we've got 34 life now. Um, oh, it's a big hulking. All right, we can get rid of that. Yeah, auto. Auto pay. GG's. Taking down the monogreen ramp. Lovely. Lovely. I'm not very technical at all. You'll have to tell me how you do that. <laughs> I can just go. I can Google that. I can Google that. Cheers, mate. It's just so annoying. Like, I'm scared to look at another tab now in case it freezes when I'm on the stream. I will do it just before I finish, though, just to check. <laughs> Drink specials! Yo, Balanator. Welcome, buddy. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I shut it down every day. Yeah. Uh, 
And the only thing that would reset it for me as well <laughs> um, is that I try control alt delete that doesn't nothing at all so I literally have to hold the uh, you know power button down until it turns off and then just start again come on Reno you're not getting a free win off me you give me the win oh no it's my computer bow it's just it's been freezing today a couple of times Come on, Reno. Wow, they want this free win really good. We're not going to give it some, though. Sweet. Let's play our hidden caves. Hidden caves. We might give it to them if they just carry on. If they desperately need the win that much. They might be having a bad run. It's just that I quite like my hand. That's the annoying thing. I quite like the hand we got. There we go. Well done. Untapped land. Perfect. That's what we want. We want. We got like eight untapped lands or sank in the deck. So we need them to come in. Umezawa. Yeah, make him suffer. Lovely. Untapped. Untapped tap lands. Can't beat it with Spelunker. Yo, Coco. How you doing, mate? Mono Black, though, is going to have Removal City, isn't it? Oh, they can only take our Calamitous. Yay. Auto pay. Let's get some of these in. They're just going to have so much removal. It's mono black. Nice, 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 nice. What have we got? Discard, return to creature to his own hands. Yeah, back colonies there. There goes the removal again. I don't really want to return this because they can just take off our creatures. So we'll let that one go. We'll save this hopefully for a Shelly or something. And there it is. Oh, there it is. Hey. You can have that back. Lovely. Uh, let's go here. And bring in that uh, one counter there play the leech we are going off now come on something that trades with a Shelly we got a 5-5 five five here you got a 4-5 we've got another one ready to come in here come shells okay land come on Yep, draw. Oh, I mean, that's not terrible, is it? Oh, it means we do get to put that back again. Let's send that back. Um, I could attack him with a 3-3 as well, but I think... Um, we're attacking. We got a cut down, probably for the scamp. No, gonna block. Okay. Oh, actually, only cast an instant or sorcery spell. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. We got another one though. We got another one. We got a three-three. Shelley probably coming down again. Come on, land. Land or cami would be lovely. Draw. Uh, not that land. Um, 
Now I've attacked him with the land. Let's go. Lovely, okay. I am gonna do a discovery. Hopefully we get something cool. Oh, tear asunder. Can I cast it for its kick cost? Oh, I can. I can't. <laughs> I'll put it in my hand. Hold on, cancel. Put it in hand. Okay, sorry. I was I was doing that wrong. Um for some reason I thought it was cast for free, but it's not, is it? We can deal with Sheldred next turn though. Yeah, so they're gonna attack. Okay, draw. Ooh, okay. Um, let's make a creature. Attack in for 11. What do they have? Okay. Um... Yep, yeah, okay. It's annoying. I think we probably bounce this now. Bounce the Shelly back. No life gain for opponent. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's kill that. Land. Yes. On one counter. I don't have a land. Oh, come on. Sweet. GG's again against Mono Black with a zero rare. <laughs> Gotta love it. Ladder or not. You played exactly the same decks. Especially a lark. I mean, goal mate as well. So it's not as if, you know. This ain't a mythic deck or anything like that. That is the problem, because it'd be nice to play... Um, to, oh, oh, cheers, Baz, mate. Much appreciated, my friend. Thank you. Um, oh, I played the wrong land there. Damn it. Um, it'd be nice if they actually had a budget queue. Like, no more than five rares. We were saying that the other day. Get some life. Oh, we got a cave incoming, so that'd be nice. Hope to get more than these two. We're on 23 life, so we're not too bad. Oh. No proliferating going on there. Oh, they can proliferate there. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power. Wow, that was just pumped, wasn't it? Oh. Wow, okay. I think we're probably dead, guys. <laughs> We need our leech on. We need the leech. We're going to return Spelunkin to gain three life. Nice. Back to six. We just need to get this on. Picnic runner. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Come on back to <gasps> oh. the stream after I make the best margarita this side of the Arroyo Grande. NC Barra, thank you very much for that subscription. Let's get some Doritos in the chat. Thank you, mate. Really. Oh, Baz gifted it. Sorry, Baz gifted it. I only just saw that. I never see the gifted till the love, but Baz, thank you, gifted NC Para. 
Much appreciated, mate. Cheers, Baz. Much love, mate. Oh, that's perfect. Your legend. Only 90 subs to go now before I can do this every day. <laughs> uh, Lovely. Um, I'm going to attack. Yep. Then we're going to play this. A nice 5-5 five, five lifelinker. Oh, yes. That's the swing round we want. We can also make a creature with the cavernous moor as well. We can't do the blue. Let's go. Get it back. going to be able to play one and I am going to be able to destroy something so let's go in we're going to go up to 10 life here let's play the scamp and what do we want to get we want to get we don't do we want to get the one that yeah let's play that because the any color really helps um, against this mono red deck. GG's. Oh, Gargantuan Leech took the game for us there. And Caves has performed so well today. Absolutely love this zero red deck.